this video we're going to go ahead and make some changes to this application to actually put a condition statement in here and what I plan on doing is asking the user here to input a size and we're going to check to see if that size is actually available and we're going to use an array to do this and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually use a text box to get the input from a user so I'll double click on my text box here and I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and change this around a little bit I want to put the list box down below and the text box above and just kind of just to change it up a little bit the text box I'm going to give it a name to work with I'm going to call it txt input and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to code so I'll just double click on the OK so what we've got is we've still got our array created and there it is it's created with our sizes in there what we want to do now is we want to check to see whatever the user inputs into the text box we want to see if it actually belongs within our array so we're going to search our array to find out if it belongs and I actually prefer using a loop here so we, the way we've got the loop set up we can reuse this and so I'm going to go ahead and just remove this line of code within my loop and now what I want to do is I want it to run through my loop every single time which is what it does right now it starts off at my first element which is spot zero and runs through all of them so I'm going to keep this the same what I want to do is I want to put my condition statement in here so what we're going to do is I'm just going to write a quick if statement and what we're going to do is test to see if what's in the text box is in my array and so what we're going to do is we're going to say if and I'll go ahead and begin with the parenthesis the txt input dot text is equal to now so I gotta use two equal signs because it's we're testing for to see if it's equal, equal, so we're testing for equality, if the text box's input, basically the text of that, is equal to whatever str sizes is at that moment, which in this case in the loop would be spot zero and that would be spot one. Every time the loop runs it to keep going through. Um, that's If that's true, then we want to go ahead and display. So I'm going to go ahead now and use the opening curly brace and I'll just go ahead and hit enter twice and end that curly brace so if that's true what we want it to display is and let's go ahead and do this in our list box lst output dot items dot add we want it to display we have that size and I'll go ahead and use the text we have that size and I'm going to go ahead and end that with a semicolon and so if it does find out, if we do run it and it does have the same size available, it's going to go ahead and display that for us. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when we run our application. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit debug. And you'll see that I've got my form here. If I type in something like, uh, just, just do something wrong to begin with, LL. And I hit OK, nothing happens. I'm going to need to modify my code here to make it so that if I get a false answer, it lets me know that that size does not exist. At the moment, if I get a correct answer like just L, hit OK, it does say that we have that size. So we're on track here for getting this program to work the way we want it. It still needs a little bit more modification. And so to modify this application, what I need to do is I need to have some kind of variable that lets me know whether or not this loop has ran successfully and the if statement ever actually ran successfully itself. And so what I'm going to do is create a quick little variable up here to actually test this and I'll just space that down I'll just call it uh, integer and I'm just call it int test and we'll set it equal to zero to start with and it's gonna let me know if it's zero that means nothing ever changed but if I come in here and actually tell it which means if this if statement ever really runs I'm gonna go ahead and say int test is now gonna equal one and so this is going to give me an option here, I'll put the semicolon at the end of this, to let me know to test it. So what I want to do is, it, is while after my loop is done running and it tests every single one of these, I want to be able to determine whether or not it actually ran. And if it did not run successfully, then we need to have something that comes back out and says, hey, it never ran successfully, that means we don't have the size. So what I'm going to do here, you can see that this ending curly brace is going to be matching up for my for loop so at the end of this after my loop runs I'm going to test one more condition to see if int test my variable is 0 or 1 and that will determine whether or not my size was actually there so if int test and I need to use the curly br or parenthesis here int test equals 0 
we'll say, or is equal to zero. If that is true, and I'll use my opening curly brace and I'll space down twice here. If that's true, I want to put in the LST output dot text. I want it to just say uh, LST output dot, I'm sorry, items dot add. There we go. I want it to say, sorry, we do not have that size. I'll go ahead and end that string there in that statement. And so now if it runs through, we don't get any results as far as being true, meaning we have that size. We've now got something that comes back and says, hey, if that size, let me take out that semicolon for the if statement that doesn't belong there. There we go. If that size never ran through or never was true, int test is going to still remain zero. If it does go through as being a positive, then yeah, int test is not going to be one. So we're going to test to see if it's zero. If it is zero, that means that we don't have that size and so it's going to display that for us. Let's go ahead and run our application to see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the debugging here and we've got our form here. I'm going to go ahead and type in my size. Let's go ahead and type in L for large, hit OK. Hey, we have that size. That is in my array itself. What happens if I type in something other than large, like X uh, T? Hit OK. So sorry, we do not have that size. Now I can go ahead and reset this. Let's modify our program just a little bit more. I can reset our code so that it resets the list box every time. And so what I'll do is before my loop runs, I'll just go ahead and just a quick LST output dot items dot and you can see that I've got a clear there we go items dot clear and what that'll do is it'll go ahead and clear out and that with a semicolon anything that's in there so let's go ahead and run it the last time here looks like everything's going to be available for us if I type in large L we have that size if I type in X Sorry, we do not have that size. If I type in uh, medium, M, we have that size. And so now I've got an application that goes through and checks my array. It searches through the array to see if what we've got here in our text box matches up. If it does match up, we've got the size. If not, I found a way to make it so that it will let me know that that size does not exist. And so this is searching through an array using our loops and a conditional statement with an if statement.